So if you want to find out what the theme park on a hill, coin as the heaven on earth has to offer, do watch this video. So a little bit about Bana Hills and this scene was totally not shot after the entire video. <laughs> it's a relatively significant and recreational complex for you to come in Da Nang and it's situated on top of a hill at 1,500 meters above sea level. And the website states that you can actually experience all four seasons in a day on top at Bana Hills because apparently the weather is extremely erratic and we were sweating and we were cold all at the same time. And what is in Bana Hills itself, there's our multiple theme parks, many, many photo opportunities, lots of flowers. There's also an alpine slope that you can actually sit and slide down as fast as you can. And there are also many random, ooh, waterfall. There are also many random performances or which they were actually announced through the speakers. The performance will begin right in the middle of the square. There are also a lot of stores that sell food and many, many buffet restaurants. And a little fun fact for the cable cars itself, it smashed the world record by having 7,000 passengers in one hour. So it's it's quite a lot. And Bana Hills itself has a lot of award-winning attractions that you should definitely check out. So without further ado, let's begin this video. So as you are coming up, entering into the cable car, walking along this stretch of walkway, there's actually a recreation of Hoi An Garden. Uh, I mean, Hoi An is just a literally 45 minutes drive away, the actual Hoi An. So we are not really going to check that out, but if you want, you can come here and check it out for yourself. And as you can see, when we are walking this stretch, there are a lot of people and they are mostly tourists. And along this stretch, there will be staff waving to you, which are really, really friendly and they are very welcoming. And as you are walking towards the gantry, people would tend to cut your queue, so just be careful. So it was a mess havoc over here, getting to the gantries, everybody was cutting queue, everybody was squeezing around, and there were only about five or six gantries. And after the gantries, we proceed to queue up to the cable car. There was a family in front of us and behind us, and they wanted to take the cable car together. Yay, only five people! <laughs> so we were just lucky enough so that nobody was in the cable car. Everybody yeah. was squeezing like how many? Three, I, four, five, four. Ten per car. Yeah, ten and there's only like five of us in this car. <laughs> famous hand Bana Hill Bridge. Golden Bridge. Golden Bridge that people taken famously these kind of photos but uh, as you can tell realistically there's a lot of people squeezing through the entire bridge which is kind of annoying. for about a fair bit of distance already and mainly there's a lot of photo opportunities a couple of stores and restaurants that sells food and drinks for you uh, so far it's just flowers uh, and a lot of wedding photographers or wedding shoots happening and Rose is like spazzing out of that <laughs> flowers now I'm just gonna take the drone up and oh my god there's a giant shit face so another attraction that you can find here is the Ling Eun Pagoda. Ling Eun? Yeah, so it's 27 meters high and it's like that. So near the pagoda, there's also a monastery or presbytery. 
not too sure is that the correct term but that's what they said at the, the sign and slightly further up there's a very small pocket of view which is really nice and very secluded and if you're coming here to Bana Hills, uh, it's you have to basically drive yourself or ride but if you're not driving yourself or not taking a tour you can engage a private driver which we actually did and the total cost of it is only 500,000 Vietnam Dong which is equivalent to 30 Sing dollars and in comparison to hotels and other people or other drivers they were basically charging us a lot higher like one driver charged us 700,000 the hotel charged us 1 million but we got half the price for exactly the same thing so if you're here remember to compare the price and if you got cheaper than five hundred thousand dollars comment down below because we want your bargain skills so yeah basically what we did was whenever we book a grab to a certain place uh rolls will just ask them and we compare prices and get their numbers uh. so to get from place to place you have to take a cable car very unlikely you'll be able to walk unless you want to drive which is also very unlikely so currently we are at the french village for the YouTube, she's doing 360 for the YouTube. <laughs> Our tour guide for the day, just now holding the selfie stick up. Everyone follow me! Anyway, this is the French village. So this is the main attraction for Bana Hills. And then there will be uh, games or like theme park, indoor. But that one for the games, all of the games, you will have to pay additional. Because the ticket that we bought is only cover the cable car. And for us, we bought a uh, buffet lunch as well. So we bought our tickets through Klook and I apologize for the bad order because there's a live band over there. But yeah, our Klook tickets pricing cost $60 for one person for road trip cable car and lunch buffet. It's totally not sponsored. I mean, I did email Klook, but Klook never replied me. So we will be having lunch over there. Literally, a uh, beer barrel. The name of this place is called Beer Barrel. So, Beer Plaza. Or Beer Plaza. 10.47, we're going to have lunch at 11, so make sure that like, nobody uh, hopefully can eat lunch earlier and nobody will disturb us. We shall find a table first. First, I see people coming in already. Okay, let's go and grab lunch first. So for the beer plaza, lunch is buffet style, so there are a lot of variety of meals. You can check it out yourself, but there are basically two levels to it. Uh, first level is the entrance level. For B1, it's the same thing as B2, it's just that there are more seats, so we decided to go for B2 since there are lesser people. As you can tell, there's nobody behind me, but everybody's at B1. So there are a fair bit of things, just like steamed clams, stir fried veggies, stewed beef, sweet and sour fish ball, mixed fried rice, seaweed broth, uh, salad bar. There's also local delights over there with uh, a little bit of fur. The rest also it's chicken soup with corn, Chinese caramelized pork, more steamed rice. I have beef stew, braised pork belly and jangjou fried rice. There's also drink stores, drinks, drink machines over there and there's a food platter with desserts and cakes. And right in the middle there's beer, so you can probably get a beer if you are drinking. Uh, the pines look very very huge. So we got a fair bit of items, there are a lot of uh, Chinese related food but there's also Vietnamese food so Rose will be here to explain a little bit later. But uh, there's also western food like uh, pork chop and spring rolls and all that. So as you can see right behind me there are a lot of people coming down already. So at about 11.09 probably people will come down to level 2. So the first few minutes people will stay at B1 before coming to B2. Or before B1 gets crowded and coming to B2. So I was just telling them you got this. So what is this? There are still a couple of spaces here, so if you'll be coming around 11 plus, you still can come to let B2 and get a seat. So I assume about 12 onwards, it's going to be crowded maximus, so we do take note of that. So we're just going to eat right now. We just finished lunch at the beer plaza and the food overall wasn't very to my liking. How is it to you? Not so fantastic. Like it had a, a wide spread but the quality is not much. So we just walk roughly more or less the entire fantasy park and they have a lot of things, I would say. They have carnival games, they have arcade games, they have one giant that basically all three levels are more or less the same thing. But as you get lower and lower, there are more arcade games. There are also a couple of kids entertainment area. There are a couple of other stuff you can check it out, like the Wax Museum and also a 360 museum in a way and we just walked around for a fair bit for you guys to check it out yourself this is also a Jurassic Park over there so this is what more or less the fantasy park has we're going to move on to the French village So 
so we just finished French Village and it's pretty much nothing. There's a cafeteria there and also a restaurant there and a couple of outdoor sitting. That's about it. But I assume there's a performance over there because there's a very large atrium. A little bit of Caucasians there practicing their stuff. There's also another pagoda there which we have to climb numerous flights of stairs. I also do want to add that there are a couple of things closed so not too sure why and yeah like that. We are visiting Bana Hills in the middle of June so it should be peak period with all the school holiday kids and their parents and as it is it's really a lot of people but according to Rose during the wet season it's not a lot of people right? It's not a lot of people but the weather is a bit hectic. It can be it's sunny and then just a second later it's heavy rain. So so it's a change of plans. Uh, we, we found out that if, once we enter the cable car over here, we will be going back straight down. <laughs> so we will be climbing the our most stairs. So many stairs. Yeah, so we're gonna climb up, and apparently it's the highest point of Danang. So yeah, if you don't climb, basically got no content. Right? <laughs> okay, let's go. Watch us suffer. Wow. See the 360 above me. Don't know what it will do. Just giving it a try. So got the entire. <laughs> So we're here at the peak, there's this tower looking thing, there's another tower over there. There's also a tea house on the way coming up. And yeah, we're gonna find a spot to fly the drone and show you all some cool shots. See us go down the Alpine slope. You can watch the Dalat video. So we're gonna spend the next 40 hours in a city without traffic lights, which is called Dalat City, and we're gonna show you guys what it has to offer and what you can experience. So if you are interested, stay tuned and watch on. <laughs> so if you don't want to eat at Beer Plaza, there are a couple of other stores along the streets that sells pizza and other Western food as well. There's also a Starbucks right behind me over here. If you aren't interested in the food over here so yeah and we are over here this rose garden really really nice and the view overlooks to the entire of Danang it's really really beautiful take a look so if you can see over there that's the alpine slope which we were one it's a little bit of long queue so we decided not to but there's the alpine slope that you can take if you are here and it's coming to an end of our day trip at Bana Hills so there are two ways you can come down you can take a cable car directly straight to the car park or you can take the way that we came up which is two different cable cars which if you want to go back to that side over there so as you can see there are a lot of construction still at Bana Hill so if you're coming here in the meantime or anytime soon it's gonna be a couple of constructions like so you see over there and the drone shots over here and also over there don't know when's the best time to come because they don't say when the construction ends so yeah come here whenever you want to private cabin So basically, uh, they want to take an entire cabin for themselves, so they were behind us and they let us go first. Lah. So now we have an entire cabin to ourselves, right all the way down, and I'm also very stinky right now. Whoa. See this view! 
so basically whatever you have seen in this entire video is whatever you can experience in Bana Hill so uh, to be honest my overall experience I wouldn't say it's the best because uh, I'm not the theme park kind of person and it's extremely crowded so to me I wouldn't come back again but if you are a very very theme park person and like this outdoorsy stuff that looks like uh, basically a playground uh, you can come here again but I'm, as you all know I prefer nature so overall for the price of 60 sing dollars each uh, you basically get three cable car rides and a couple of attractions to visit so I would say it's decent if it's your first time here but wouldn't come back here again what do you think? A local? I think the price wise is more for tourists but then if you are someone who prefer to ride cable car you can just get it $60 including lunch you can just ride as many as you want up and down and up and down <laughs> And if you're wondering, there's a hotel upstairs called Mercure, so you can actually stay there overnight. Before it opens, you can wake up and steal some shots so that nobody is on the bridge. But as you can see from this B-roll itself, there's a lot of people on the bridge and it was really, really annoying. So yeah, welcome to the end of this video. If you like this video, remember to like, share and subscribe. And if you are going to Banner Hills anytime soon, comment down below. And remember to watch all our Vietnam trip videos over here and coming soon. See you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.